Please, turn off the ad block, subscribe, and share. Links will be below for anyone wanting to support this channel. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechView Snap. And today, I'm going to do a Windows 2012 server how-to. And today's how-to is, how do you go from the GUI, the user interface, to the core server so the command prompt interface and then go back to the gooby so in case we got a boss or some other situation you can use this if they want to go from one to the other for whatever reason personally with me i don't see why to make things harder for you and i personally prefer gooby a lot of the old school likes the command prompt stuff and that's fine it looks cool in many aspects but it takes a hell lot longer to do things and to figure out what went wrong if anything did go wrong and that's why i like using GUIs. in fact that's one thing that actually keeps some people from getting jobs is the old school wants that stuff so bad but they're going to go out the door anyway so you might as well learn the GUIs. so as far as this goes let's go into here and uh what you need to do is go to the management uh, management and go to remove roles and features and then go down and select the server that you want to remove and let's go down to features and then go to user interface and as we see we have them to check we simply want to uncheck that and then just do the remove features and then go to confirmation and restart and th what this does is you will have to restart for this to take place and um, we can do ok remove and let's just give it a little bit of time and this does take a little bit of time to get done to get a GUI back it takes a little bit more time that's one thing to keep in mind when we're going through this process and um, I will put a code that's needed down below in the description. Now to point this out real quick, you will get this and don't worry when that comes up. So when it's going through a cycle it has to, as you know, change its interface and everything else. It's, it's almost like a full update. So I will be back when it's done. Now let's uh, go through this and um, Put in the password. And you will we'll be presented with um, command prompt. Just a quick tip if you want to change the color, you go to properties and um, go to color tags. And there you go. So, yeah. But uh, if you're doing this in work, make sure that that's something you're not going to get fussed out for or fired. Probably not, um, unless you got like a dumb manager, and if that's the case, they're probably looking at replacing you anyway, so, or just you might want to look for something else. So with this, um, what you need to do is go to PowerShell, so, and from here, Sorry about clock in the background. And from here, just go to install Windows feature. I will have this in here so you can just copy and paste it. I can't copy and paste it in here because of the, um, it's in a virtual machine and stuff over a different network, uh, I think 50 miles away from me. Server, uh, space, server, GUI management uh, and GMT IN FR A comma server my sign GUI my sign shell space my sign restart Oops. 
and um, that just automatically makes it restart so when it's done it, it does take a little while but when it's done the user interface will come back up oh I misspelled uh, yeah there, there, there's the problem it's a uh, mess up on the server part of that but but this is actually a good thing this is why I'm keeping it in in the video is this is what happens when you make a mistake it's it's not like the end of the world or whatever it's a lot of these mistakes are just kick out in here like this and you just got to figure out why and it's yeah, as long as it's not like uh, that's activating something else it's fine you figure it out pretty quickly but again from here what you do is um, press enter and what this will do is it will install the GUI and keep in mind this is the method that will work if it already had a GUI at one point if it doesn't have GUI you might have to install the GUI itself and for the most part if um, you're getting into a server environment you're probably not going to go into a uh, environment where you got to do everything in command line mostly because how am i going to see if what i'm putting in now is going to bring up an error whereas if um it's in a gui you have that flag that shows you the errors that come up or anything else and it's quicker you can do better and you can get more information into you and put more information into the system accurately or instead of worrying about stupid crap like that so again the command system is going out the door I've, I've literally seen it when I was going for coding jobs they asked me oh uh, I see you do github and stuff uh, do you do uh, do you use the GUI or do you use the command interface and I was like oh just the GUI because it's a lot easier and stuff like yeah and noobs do that I'm like yeah I, told, I, I actually told him and he's an ass over the interview because the thing is is and I explained to him that no the command says going out the door he mistyped one thing and there you go you, you don't get anything and they actually offered me a job I said no because I mean if you guys are that outdated then no and plus they want me to do some stupid crap but um and sorry for cussing but that's a true story but um yeah that's that's a very important thing to note is uh chances are is you won't need this bit of information but i figured out if you do here it is it's free and go for it and anyways i'm going to show you it uh getting done and again this is normal it's uh, has to pretty much update the stuff and I'll be right back when the GUI is up and running and instantaneously you should be noticing a difference with the taskbar and everything being there because again the GUI is there once again and again I, I want to iterate it again but but uh, further my point the one of the biggest reasons why I think the GUI is going to stay around it's not only that you don't have to worry about things messing up you also on top of that you uh, can simply learn from experience people nowadays are grown up with computers from young ages uh, five or even younger at times has some experience with computers and as they grow older the more and more they get and this is the interface they're getting uh, comfortable with it's not the text base like the old school it's this and since they are more comfortable with this they know exactly where to find things and as time goes on the older crowd that's used to the command prompt yes it looks cool but it's not effective at all and even they will admit it's not effective at all and there is a ton of mistakes you can make with it and you don't get the notifications when something's good or bad so that's a very important thing to note is um, 
Gooey is probably going to stay, and this is probably going to be one of the least useful videos that you get out there. But just in case, here it is. Now, if you do want me to make another video or anything else, then feel free to leave a comment below and I'll check it out. But if you like this, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, share. And if you didn't like this for whatever reason, go ahead and leave a dislike and tell me why so I can fix it in future videos. Again, this has been Craig Bennett, founder of Norton Tech Beast. And I hope you have a great day.